Hello Ayala friends, the Worldwide Academy celebrates its 10 years anniversary. Time to look back at some of the milestones. Founded in 2012, the Academy is the vehicle by which Ayala delivers education, training and capacity building. This could only materialize because of the generous sponsorship of our main sponsor IFAN, the International Foundation of Aids to Navigation. Later, many other sponsors followed. The main goal of the Academy is that all coastal states contribute to an efficient global network of marine aids to navigation and claim conformance with the relevant IALA standards. Some states experience challenges to reach the required level. This may be due to limited resources or lack of awareness. In many cases, the challenges can be overcome through best practice and knowledge sharing, training and capacity building. A key element is building long-standing relationships with these states. An example is Lebanon. In 2022, I finished both the training program for Level 1 ASO Navigation Manager and for IALA Risk Assessment Toolbox where Lebanon has benefited from the PAUSA risk assessment. All started in 2021, when the Academy proposed a technical mission in order to support Lebanon after the Beirut explosion, noting that Lebanon was not in any way connected with Ayala before. A few months later, the mission was contacted and Lebanon became a national member to Ayala. Being a national member, we already delivered an Anaimo program, courses for countries like Somalia, Ethiopia, Yemen, which is we consider as a great achievement for our country. This video revealed the key to success, motivating awareness events and technical missions in combination with the Academy, its professional training program. Once the Academy is connected to the Maritime Administration and its stakeholders, the Academy team commits to continuously supporting them. As many other small coastal states, the Seychelles struggle with keeping all their lighthouses operational, including this beautiful lighthouse at Dennis Island, which is considered to be an important lighthouse heritage site. This requires some skills and there is a need for training and certification of aids to navigation managers and technicians. As an outcome of technical missions, it was found that smaller states could benefit from using a simplified risk assessment method. Therefore, the Academy and IALA technical committees developed the simplified IALA risk assessment that has been used a number of times by SPC, the Pacific Community. Many of the Pacific Island states improved the aids to navigation provision after a CIRA workshop. Facilitated by the Academy in an online project, also Somalia used the CIRA risk management tool. This resulted in the refurbishment of the Fort Sheikh Lighthouse in Mogadishu. With this strategy, the Academy's A2N and VTS alumni are equipped with sound education and a strong spirit. The motto of our alumni, we keep the ships off the rocks, is one to be proud of. The Academy signed agreements with 13 A2N training institutes, of which four in Asia, one in the Pacific, one in the Middle East, two in Africa, three in Europe and two in South America. The Academy is now actively involved in providing IALA model courses both at A2N and VTS training institutes. These training institutes can use the distance learning resources for online delivery developed by the Academy.
in order to support competent authorities in improving the adequateness and effectiveness of the system for delivering aids to navigation services, 46 technical cooperation missions and 12 reviews have been conducted. So more than 25% of all coastal states in the world have benefited from a technical gap analysis in their aids to navigation provision. Besides meetings with ministers or permanent secretaries, a full technical mission will also analyze the aids to navigation management. During such missions, technical on-site visits take place and the Worldwide Academy experts meet with all safety of navigation stakeholders. A huge number of high-level decision-makers have benefited from such technical cooperations and other awareness events. In order to support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Delivering as One initiative, such activities are often conducted in cooperation with our sister organizations. For example, IMO, IJO, SPC and UKHO, where IMO provides funds under the Women in Maritime program for sponsored aids to navigation training for ladies. All this could not be possible without generous sponsors and in-kind contribution. The Academy team, together with its excellent consultants and supported by the Ayala Secretariat, stands ready for a next decade of enhancing the safety of navigation worldwide. Let's say we have something to celebrate!